friend. Today is your lucky day. You will become immortal. You've known Miriam White since childhood. Her name was always a synonym of bravery and success. You sensed something unusual from the moment her last letter arrived. She was afraid. The letter grew more confusing with every word. You rushed to her. You had to know what could possibly scare the one and only Miriam White. What you've done, never. Enough. Guard, take this man away. Who goes there? Are you invited? You may pass. Thank goodness you're here. I wondered how that masked man found us. The project is top secret. I can't let anyone steal my work before it goes public. It's too dangerous. We launched final tests a few minutes ago, but something went wrong. It seems someone broke through the security system and damaged our equipment. I'm lucky to be still alive. My colleague Frank went to check what happened while I recovered here. Could you bandage my arm? I think I saw a first aid kit on the table. I'll turn on the lights. 
Come near her. Right. She mentioned a friend coming to visit. I'm Frank, Miriam's colleague. Thank you for finding the bandages. We need to take care of Miriam. She's the only person who knows all of the project content, and also our dearest friend. Thank you. I feel much better now. You should rest, Miriam. I'll continue the preparations while you remain here. We don't know if there's anyone else inside the building. If there is, they could be dangerous. You're right, but you can't do everything on your own. We don't have time for that. We still need the crystal for the final test. This project requires a rare and powerful crystal. The last one is in my room. It's blue and looks like this. The crystal is vital to our project, which is why I keep it in my room. Please, take care of it while we continue preparations. You're the only one I trust with it. The keys to my room are on the table.
Excellent. Please, take the crystal to Miriam. Did you find the crystal? Thank you. I promised to tell you everything, but I think it'll be better if you saw it for yourself. This puppet looks like me, doesn't it? That's because it was made specifically for me. In a minute, you'll see my soul being transferred to the puppet body. It's the highest peak that the puppet master like me could hope to reach. <sighs> Wish me luck, my friends. Good luck, Miriam. <laughs> Miriam! Where is the puppet? Yes, you're right. Miriam is still alive. We have to help her. Let's move her to her room. Oh, Miriam. If only we... We have a special device for emergency cases. We call it a medical wreath. When we put it on Miriam, it'll show us how seriously she was hurt after the interrupted transfer into the puppet. Can you find it? We don't have much time, so I'll try and answer your questions quickly. Miriam always made realistic-looking puppets. Recently, she learned that those skills might save her life. You see... Miriam is terminally ill. Her body is failing and no medicine works. We started to look for other cures and found a surprising one. The puppets. We created a special puppet to contain Miriam's soul. The unbreakable puppet body should have been her cure. But you saw what happened when we tried to do it. Well, she is breathing. We can examine her mind with the medical wreath. I hope it's okay. Put the medical wreath on Miriam.
holding my hand, but I can't feel his touch. Why is everything so blurry? The statues, the tree, it's the inner yard. He's taking me to the elevator, to the underground. Save me, save my soul before it's... Unbelievable. Her mind is in the puppet and the human body at the same time. This is really dangerous. We'll lose Miriam as a person if we can't reassemble her whole mind. I can preserve some life in her body here, but the puppet... She said it was taken to the underground. That's bad. When we moved here, one part of the building was heavily damaged. It was full of locked doors and hidden traps. We quickly learned that it was better to stay on the ground floor and sealed the underground for good. Yes, one of the entrances was in the hall, but I thought it was damaged. I guess the culprit went that way. There is another shorter way, and it's right here. It's right behind the wallpaper here, a door with a sun and a crescent moon on it. We created this lock together, so we had each had a key. Here is mine, the sun. I don't know where Miriam hid hers. It may be in her personal things. The soul transfer doesn't work without the crystal, but the only spare crystal is in the underground. I have to go there. Frank was furious when he found out. He said it was too dangerous. I know he's right, but I had to do it for our work. Frank and I decided to seal the underground. It's for the best. I do not dare talk about what's hidden there. It can be dangerous in the underground. Take this doll with you. She's our guard, and it's completely loyal to us. She may be of some help to you. if you wish. not go further, for those who dwell here are not loyal to people. Those who dwell here are not trustworthy. 
around people. Do not go further, for those who dwell here are not safe for people. Fight this doll to proceed. I need your guidance to defeat it. possibly explain what you've done. You've stolen my life, and now I will steal yours. That wasn't like that. Please. This puppet is too heavy. We might be able to move it if we restore its missing details.
too late. They took her from me. She's gone. And you came to rescue her. I used to adore Miriam as well. I was her student, her friend, her... But then she made me like this. My face and mind were torn apart. I was so sure it was her fault, but now I don't know. You found my screwdriver with the lock pendant. You can read about this now. Today I helped Miriam close the lab. I was almost done when Frank arrived. He said Miriam wanted to check the mind transfer machine and asked me to help. The door locked behind me while I was inside. The transfer didn't work properly though. Part of my mind was gone. Miriam betrayed me. I was sure she did it intentionally. But that puppet Miriam sounded so innocent. I don't know what to think now. If only I could find a way to save her. My mind is distorted. Please, use this. I know it can help you enter the hall she's being held in. But the rest of my memories are gone. You have to figure it out. You must save her. understand. have gone completely mad. What did they? Still, it's incredible that they managed to finish what Miriam and I worked on for so long. Your mind has been transferred into the body of a puppet. I apologize for keeping you in a cage, my friend, but it's for your own safety. I need to examine you to make sure you're all right. Just be patient. I'll be back soon. Things aren't as they seem. We need to talk, but not here. Frank will be back any second. Don't trust him. He thinks puppets are dangerous, but they aren't. 
We were forced to turn on you. We have evidence that Frank... Oh no, he's back! Here, take this. I'll be waiting in the mirror corridor. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now let's make sure everything is fine. And that... How do I say this? You see, because of what happened with the puppets, I need to make sure you're not a threat before releasing you. I'm sure you understand. It's a success! Finally, after all Miriam and I worked for, you're in perfect physical condition. Your mind is also balanced and healthy. You have a slightly increased level of anxiety, but that's to be expected. Of course. I can't leave you in a puppet body without your permission. To perform the reverse transformation and save Miriam, we need the crystal. But Leon, his puppet, stole it. Help me retrieve the crystal and neutralize Leon. He's a real threat as a puppet, and I don't know what he will use the crystal for. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I must check on Miriam. Here, Leon puppet went through those doors.
came to finish me off, eh? You're one of us now, and the first to be transformed without their consciousness being divided. Surely you can understand us now. That's what they did to their... failed experiments. Only Miriam Puppet understands me. Only we know the truth. But...
But why didn't you kill me? That's obviously what Frank sent you here to do. What makes you think I have the crystal? I dropped it when Frank shot at me. for repairing me. But what happened to you? What's going on here? Hmm. All right. I'll try to find Frank. You go to Miriam, puppet. 